So here we have a little circuit. I think you can see there's a battery. That square box is a resistor. Here is a thing called a transistor. And here is a light emitting diode. And what we're going to do is on the, I've got a circuit diagram, which I drew on circuit slash diagram dot org. I'm going to take my various components. For example, here's my LED. We met them in the last um, video. You see it's got one short leg that goes to the negative. So let's take the short leg. If you follow the circuit diagram, you'll see there's the negative. So the short leg has got to go into the negative and the long leg is going to go to the other side. So there is our LED placed in position. Then here is a thing you haven't seen before. It is a transistor. Now it's got a curved, it's got three little legs, three little legs, and it's got a curve to it. So this is the collector, the middle one is the base, and the third one is the emitter. Collector, emitter, base. So we're going to stick it so that here's the collector, there's the base, there's the emitter. Do you see how I've spread out those legs? And I've drilled little holes there, there, and that attaches to the same hole as our light emitting diode. So I'm just pushing the transistor in like that. So there we can see the we can see we've got our LED, we've got our transistor, now we need a resistor. It says 240 ohms, I think I've only got about a 450 ohm, doesn't matter, just need a resistor. So there's our resistor, and we need another little wire that's going to go to the battery, so there's a wire and there everything's in place. So we've got a battery, then we've got a connecting wire, it goes to a resistor, it goes to a transistor, this is called an NPN transistor, the, the middle part is important, the P, and then there's a light emitting diode, we use the diode because it's very hard to see electricity without a diode. Now what I do just for the making it easier I take two pop rivets one small one one big one I put the big one in there that's going to go to the positive side of the battery I put this one here that's going to the small to the negative side of the battery and then to hold the components in place I get a nail and I put the nail there or I hold it there and then I hammer it in. So I'm going to just hold the nail there. And hammer it in. And I do the same with all the different holes. So I get a little panel pin. And I'm going to hold it there. And hammer it in. I guess, I guess I should use a hammer. There's the panel pin. Next panel pin. In there, we've already put our components in. And that's holding our transistor in place. Third panel pin for the base.
and there's our circ done. And now everything should be held in place. So here we have our battery. We're going to connect the positive there, negative there. Take a wet finger. Here comes the positive side of the battery. Current flows through the resistor, gets to there. But this is, acts like a switch. Now, if we touch the positive collector to the base and make the base positive, a light comes on. But if we touch the base to the negative side, negative because here's the negative terminal goes through the light emitting diode but nothing happens if we short out those two the base has to be made positive and then the transistor acts like a switch and switches on but bias the base negative through the emitter nothing happens but when we touch the collector and the base the collector being positive the emitter being negative we make our little led come on now, what is the reason for this resistor? Well, both the transistor and this light emitting diode are what we know, what are known as semiconductors. They either resist a lot or nothing. And if you have too big a current through them, it will burn out both the transistor and the LED. So what we have to do to limit the current, this is a six volt battery, is we put in, a, this is a 450 ohm resistor. And that, look, when I try it with a dry hand DC, we get vi virtually no current. When I lick it slightly bigger, there we go. Dry, not much. Or the wet finger. The wet fingers, remember, we learned water can conduct electricity, so can saliva. But the base of an NPN transistor has to be biased positively and then it comes on and if it's biased negatively nothing happens.